What's up, YouTube? Thanks for riding with me again today. As always, thanks for riding with me. I'm glad someone out there is watching my videos. I'm at 91 subscribers now. I need nine more subscribers and then I can register my uh, my channel. Look at this thing, how good's that? Room 7, love it. So right now I'm just having a slow bimble up, it's Sunday, got work in the morning so I'm just having a fly out. When I go to Seam, there's obviously a place up in, in, uh, in the North East called Seam and I've been there a bunch of times and there's a big soldier there that I want to go and have a look at, there's a plaque on the side of him and stuff like that. Done a little bit of research but I don't really know what the crack is with it so I'm going to go up. Apparently the soldier's called Tommy and it, it's um, a sculpture of a huge soldier knelt down with his rifle between his legs and it's a World War I soldier, a British World War I soldier at that and it was put there so originally for one month and then the locals around see him loved it that much, loved Tommy that much they raised enough money to keep him there as a permanent fixture so I know obviously a lot of people have uh, strong roots to the wars and stuff like that and you know it's affected us all and if it wasn't for our soldiers, you know, we wouldn't be where we are today, so I want to have a look and see what it is and, and, and just sort of, you know, pay a little bit of respect to it and understand what it is because it, it does an awesome statue, it really is an awesome statue, so what I'm doing now is I'll cut the video and I'll start it when we're there. See you soon. One eternity later. All right, what Ed, this is it. We're here. There's Tommy. Now adrift in the wake of this glorious slaughter, he'd seen many a soul cleansed in filthy water, seeing godless men reach out for the Bible, as led to the flesh from both friend and rival. Soon home to the joy and celebration of kin, drunken slaps on the back at a favourite inn, but heavy in his pocket lies a small piece of card, and the note written on it will break a mother's heart. 1101. 1101, known locally as Tommy, was bought on August 4th, 2014, with generous donations from the public, local schools, businesses, and Durham County Council. He sits here for future generations to visit, enjoy, and remember by Ray Lonsdale. Pretty sweet, that like. What a guy. It's awesome. I wonder if I get my bike up here and get a picture next to him. Pretty sweet. Well done, city of Durham and the town of Sam. See you later, Tommy. So that was Sam, everyone. Very, very small seaside town with there. Uh, some pretty deep rooted history into the uh, World Wars. As you know, I've spoken about it in other vlogs. I think um, during World War II, I know for definite that the Northeast coasts were some of the first to be bombed. So, all this will have been under attack. Coming up a hundred years ago, mental. Mental. Couldn't even comprehend what the poor people and the brave people had to do then it's just, oh man obviously it's like rations and people getting blown up and husbands and fathers and wives and people weren't coming home from work it's just, oh what a terrible time terrible, terrible time I'm so glad we're out the other side of it and respect to anyone who's in the the forces today, any of the military forces you know, I have my respect thank you well, Seam is a lovely town, it's got some lovely, lovely restaurants, lovely eateries. I think if you were, remember back two vlogs previous, I'd said that my wife was going to take me out somewhere as a surprise. 
She actually took me to a steakhouse and sit in there, see him, and it was absolutely awesome. It's got like a big plate of meat, it had everything from pulled pork, steak, chicken, the lot, and it was absolutely gorgeous. I can't even remember what it was called. I'll link it in the description, but it was really, really good, and I'll really, I'll probably go back. It was that good. So if you're in the area, check it out. I'd love to know what it's, what it was called. It's actually the coolest it's been all day as well. It's still probably 27 degrees, but obviously overcast a little bit. Just, just nice, nice and cold. It's like a nice warm. Loop warm breeze when you're riding, it's super nice, perfect. Wouldn't mind this weather all year round. This morning it was like, again, nearly 30 degrees. The UK have been super lucky. The UK have been super lucky as of late with the weather, it's been class. So, yeah. I've had no development on the house front yet, guys. Still waiting for the surveyor to go around. Hopefully by the time this video lands, he'll have been around the other people's house. The new home, Scott Rod Garage, uh, and hopefully it's a done deal. Hopefully we've we've uh, got everything in place and ready for our, to get our completion dates and the, the last few checks done. But up to now, fingers crossed, everything's going well, really well. We uh, just can't wait, man. We see, get them keys, get in, get in. So, been looking for bike lifts. Has anyone out there got a bike lift? Give us a shout. I want some recommendations. I've been on Google and I've looked at all the recommendations and stuff and the reviews. So, but is anyone out there who's actually got an unused one? That would be ace if I could get your opinion on which one you've got and why you like it and why you bought it. Don't know whether to get air or pneumatic. You know, and I know there's different ratings for the safety. I know someone on one of the forums said that. It was actually on the motorvlog.com forum. One of them said that the safety bars can be a bit cheap if you get a cheaper one, so you know what's the deal with that? Is you know is it different clamping mechanisms or if the pneumatics or air system fail, does it sort of keep the the, the the lift from crashing down, you know what I mean? So I don't know. Oh and by the way guys on the way down, seen this big bug come at me and it hit I thought it hit my helmet. When I took my helmet off it was smack bang in the middle of my GoPro lens. Awesome! So, you know, if, if you didn't get much, I'm sorry, I apologise. So, but I'm going to upload it anyway, because it's content, right, and you love content. But like I said on the way down, I'm nine subscribers away from 100 and get my custom link, so if you can, support me, you know, subscribe if you haven't. If you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, just hit the bell, just hit the bell icon and subscribe, or better yet, just subscribe. You know, it'd be awesome, it would really, really help me out. And I know it sounds like I'm begging for subs, but I'm so close, I'm like nine away. And I can sort of like solidify the Scott Rod as a link and start giving it out. And yeah, hopefully, it's, you know, I start to see more improvements and I'll get more traffic to my channel. You know, it would really help me out. So appreciate that. But that was today's vlog, guys. Just a bit of a bit of a quick one today, apart of my Sunday ride out. Got the wife on the back, so gonna head home now and get some beef tacos and that's not a euphemism I'm actually gonna make beef tacos so so until next time guys make sure to follow me on the social media that's Facebook and Instagram at the Scott Rod stay up to date with the latest obviously as I've already mentioned this is the third time now plug 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 subscribe that'd be super wicked and until next time ride safe guys and I'll catch you later peace